will Trump flip electors? Two members of the Electoral College has urged all his colleagues to disable 811 next election the day when millions of Americans centered signed application calls for all electors to vote for Hillary Clinton. Brett Piafalo of Panel Beating Washington and Michael Baca of Colorado declared do not vote for Donald Trump in the hope of at least 37 electors of the Republican Party are similar action. The third party, Electoral Robert Sashikum of Washington, has voiced support for this idea. Day 811, America was witnessed presidential elections brought a landslide victory for billionaire Trump, presidential candidate of the Republican Party. However, this result is not official FI, because it specified the 538 electors to add elected president on November 19-12. Dated January 6, 2017, under the chairmanship of President of the Senate, Vice President Joe Biden, the U.S. Congress convened to review electoral votes. Mr. Biden would inform the final design results. A candidate needs 270 electoral votes giant to victory. Without significant cases do OCK candidate reaches this figure, the Amendment 12 of the Constitution are to be activated, to the House of Representatives chose the President. Actions of the two men Piafalo and Baca is extra motivation for users fandoy Trump. From the night of 811 as victory for Trump, they have called on all electors unfaithfulness, to abandon his commitment to vote for Trump. According to Fair Vote, 157 existing voters to infidelity on the Electoral College since birth. Among that, 82 electors flip long, leaving the personal discretion, 3 people abandon the ballot by Chung do not like any candidate, and 71 who changes since the original candidate dies before the Electoral College vote. However, not all voters have any time unfaithful been to impact the final result. Trump is showing signs of changes. UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon said Wednesday 16-11, he intended would meet US President-elect Donald Trump. According to Yon Hap, answered the Associated Press, said he would meet Mr. Trump you to discuss all issues of our mutual interest. Stefan Dujaric, spokesman of the UN Secretary General, are in hand two men have agreed to meet, but not clear when. After Mr. Trump won the U.S. presidential election Tuesday 8-11, Secretary General Ban Ki-moon expressed hope that the U.S. would say continue leading role in addressing the issue of climate change as well change as the global challenge is other. Also in the interview of AP, you said he was elected president of the U.S. is showing signs of retraction Hun previously declared harshly. He is slowly showing some signs of changes versus what he explained each have said said Ban Ki-moon B. I hope he would communicate with leaders recent familiar world, as well as close cooperation as the United Nations, Mr. Ban said. Monday 1611, Deputy National Security Advisor to South Korea of Washington was to all meet senior members of the group devolution of Donald Trump, Ko Ming Ren ensure the between-country relations firm say continue under the authority of the new administration. Deputy Advisor Cho said, than all teachers, the Korea-US alliance is the diplomatic missions and the highest of our security. We intend to build as partnerships with the group's transfer of President Donald Trump's US election right from the early stages. He said he would Cho denied having any US trip this time. According to Yon Hap, the South Korean delegation, Kim Hong Kyun have both, the top nuclear negotiators of this country, and Deputy Trade Minister Lee and Ho. Will Trump do the inauguration? Ten weeks after a surprise win in the election, Mr. Trump will be sworn in as the 45th President of the United States. President-elect Donald Trump will replace the position of the incumbent President Barack Obama in the White House after a traditional ceremony with President George Washington. The whole world will be watching as his Trump oath and read his inaugural address. Vice President-elect Mike Pence will be sworn in before taking office. Correct date January 20, 2017 hourly 12 p.m. Washington, about 12 p.m. Vietnam time, Donald Trump will officially become the 45th President of the United States. Sworn ceremony took place in the western doorstep of Congress building.
When the stroke of 12 hours, Mr. Trump will put his left hand on the Bible and put his right hand up in front of the Supreme Court Chief Justice John Roberts and sworn U.S. under Article 2 of Chapter 1 of the U.S. Constitution. Inaugural Address After the oath finished, Mr. Trump will read the inaugural address. The speech is expected to last less than 20 minutes. This is an opportunity for the new U.S. president to record his mark in the history books with sharp statements. In his inaugural address for the second time, when the United States has been ravaged civil war, President Abraham Lincoln said, We have no malice against anyone, let us attempt to fulfill the work of to heal their country. Meanwhile, President John F. Kennedy, is remembered with a call for Americans do not ask what the country has done for you, ask what you have done for my country. Donald Trump is expected to follow in the footsteps of his predecessor. Other Solemn Rites Before his inauguration speech Trump's performance is unique art with the arrival of the famous artist. Renowned singer Kelly Clarkson and veteran singer James Taylor folk genre has appeared in a second inauguration in 2013 by President Obama. After the ceremony in the morning, Mr. Trump will participate luncheon in Statuary Hall to celebrate the inauguration of the Parliament Building and the inaugural parade. Presidential motorcade will move across Pennsylvania Avenue from the Capitol Building to the White House. The people standing along the roadside to watch over. Outgoing ceremony of President Obama will also take place the same day of his inauguration President-elect Donald Trump. Hand over the White House. Obama's still wake up at the White House on the morning of 21. The handover took place very quickly. During the oath takes place, the White House staff will move all the furniture belonging to the family of the former president and preparing to welcome new residents. If you decide to move to the White House, Mr. Trump will spend the first night in the White House right on the night. The next morning, he would walk from his new place to West Zone Wing of the White House to begin his duties in his capacity as President of the United States. How will Donald Trump treat Asia? Conversation soft or rigid policies, that is a big question that Asia is facing the President-elect Donald Trump officially into the Oval Office. His victory Trump is sparking unrest across Asia. Many people are amazed, CNN quoted Jeff Kingston, director of Asian studies at Temple University, Japan. China, Japan to smaller countries in Southeast Asia, leaders are looking to see if President Trump has made the competition section of his commitment or not, because they will be able to shake the alliance, alter the geopolitical map and risk creating a comprehensive conflict. Japan Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe was quick to feel the profound changes in the U.S. interest. He was the leader will be the first in Asia to meet directly elected president on November 17-11 Donald Trump on his way to the APEC meeting in Peru, where he will try to protect coalition Japan, U.S. During the election campaign, Trump, who made Japan and South Korea, the two closest allies of the U.S., suggested stunned when they are free to benefit the U.S. commitment. He argued that Japan should take for nuclear weapons to defend itself against North Korea. Japan is the closest ally of the U.S. in Asia, and he, A, will want this to be reaffirmed, Kingston said. Japan also wants to know Trump plans to approach North Korea, the country continuously sends missile tests earlier this year. China Chinese capital is a sandbag to Trump punch win election. He threatened to make a comprehensive trade war with Beijing, accusing the Asian power of this forced America. Maybe in the early stages tenure, Mr. Trump could attack China to set up the power of a new commander-in-chief, the Global Times newspaper editor said. However, Shen Xinglai, deputy director of the Institute of International Relations, University of Fudan in Shanghai, the doubts about Trump will make the statement he made during the campaign because of the relationship between the two largest economies world is very close. A trade war is hard to imagine, Mr. Shen said. Trump is a smart man. He said that in order to win votes, once in power, he will continue to wisely and do not want to damage the chances of re-election. Shen also said that Trump will single eye more focused on domestic priorities, so the U.S. will be less competitive with China on issues such as the South China Sea. Korea 
Donald Trump was elected president amid Korea is going through a bad period. President Park Geun-hye is under siege corruption scandal, which led to huge demonstrations demanding ever she resigned. For a, meet at the beginning is very wise, said John DeLore of Junsei University in Seoul said. Korea was now no leadership, no one really to meet Mr. Trump. During the week, Park Geun-hye will be Korean prosecutors interrogated, so she hardly moved out of the country. Many female presidential aides resigned, and she was forced to sack the prime minister. There are many risks. Korea theoretically is currently in a state of war with North Korea. This country was the residential area of 28,500 American troops under Washington's commitment to defend its allies in the event of a conflict. The country is also home to the United States to deploy a missile defense system that sophisticated. During the election campaign, Trump has said he would consider the U.S. withdrawal of troops stationed in South Korea if Seoul does not contribute a larger portion of the cost. Trump said of the renegotiation coalition, he felt he had a huge mandate. Miss Park, it has lost credibility. That's a very bad way to step on the negotiations, Delory comment further. Philippines Relations between Rodrigo Duterte and Philippine President Barack Obama counterpart has seriously dented. Duterte for the vulgar words about Obama and Washington warned in bigger economic and military. White House under Trump will have a better relationship with Mr. Duterte, according to Richard Javad Haydarian, a professor of political science at De La Salle University in Manila. Currently President of the Philippines has designated trading partner of Trump in the Philippines as the U.S. trade envoy. However, a government Haydarian concerns under the leadership of Mr. Trump, with overwhelming domestic problems will not bring benefits to smaller countries in Asia such as the Philippines in the long run. U.S. ability to project power will be reduced and gravity will focus on China, Haydarian said.